guys. So, you know, I, I talk a lot about history, right? But some of you are uh, not in the mood to, to take in all the boring stuff. So I'm going to explain the Battle of Chickamauga. Or idiots. Or dummies. Or whatever you want to call it. So, this is going to be different from all my other videos. But, at least you'll see me shoot a heck lot. And in the meantime, you're going to learn a bit about the Battle of Chickamauga in the way that you want. For idiots. Three, two, one, action! Civil War was not going on too well for both sides. Yeah, the Confederates were getting a lot of victories, but guess what? Gettysburg is a thing, and Shiloh is also a thing, and also Antietam is also a thing. So uh, I wouldn't say it's a complete success for the Confederates, but for the Union, it also wasn't a success. But then, guess what? They went and marched down to Chattanooga. They go capture Chattanooga, thanks to the Union Army. And then the Confederates are like, oh, we're retreating. And they're not actually retreating. They just uh, go up into this little field along Chickamauga Creek. And here comes the Battle of Chickamauga, the second deadliest battle of the Civil War. So, uh, yay. We start with Reed's Bridge. But, uh, don't really know much. You can see what the Confederates do. Oh, no, 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 I'll just kill it. So, we got the Confederates on the run. General Thomas is saying that uh, there is, there, the Confederates are looked up on Lafayette Road, right? Is that right? Yep, Lafayette Road. But Rosecrans, Rosecrans, still thinks so. Still thinks that they're retreating down to Atlanta. Stupid. I need my binoculars. I can see. Daniel McCook, he's a fighting McCook, in charge of that artillery battery and a few regiments, looking on to be a, to be a general soon. I think we would be able to outsmart him easily, eh? Yeah, uh, but, but, but he does have the artillery and we only have cavalry, oh yeah, we have cavalry. Okay, advance, 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 and stay quiet! Confederates are attacking, Confederates are attacking. Load it in, load it in.
Yes, sir. Poo. Capture the cannons, but the commander's dead. So, Makuk was defeated there, but uh, after that, there were a few skirmishes here and there, especially around the brother and cabin. But uh, a lot of you are just here to see the fighting part, so uh, here, here you go. Uh, so yeah, a bit of fighting happened there, but then the Brethren Cabin came and uh, some miscommunication happened. Rosecrans, the Union General, got some information that there was a gap in his line, so he ordered the brigades in this area to move to reinforce that gap, but there was no actual gap. Instead, this was just miscommunication. Uh, the translator got wrong, but anyways, uh, the Union brigades followed the orders and moved just as the Confederates attacked. So, th so that's not good. Okie dokie, we're leaving. And holy crap! gap in the Union line. <laughs> so the Confederates broke the gap that was caused by moving to protect the gap. Uh, they moved through the no most of the northern portion and moved back to Chattanooga. Uh, the southern portion went uh, soldiers under General George H. Thomas aka the Rock Chickamauga uh, stayed at Snodgrass Hill and defended it for a day. Then he retreated. Hop! Ready! Hey! Fire! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! We are out of bullets and let's retreat back to Chicken Chattanooga now. And that's basically the Battle of Chickamauga. So it ended in a Confederate loss. It ended in a Confederate victory. But it wasn't the best for the Confederates either, even if the con even if the Union suffered many losses. The Confederates also suffered many losses, so uh uh that that's that's a bad thing. So yeah, about 3,000 people died, making it the second deadliest battle of the whole Civil War. So, uh, thank you for your service, and, uh,